hello welcome to my channel this is rejoice today we're gonna do this video that you see this is what you're gonna do actually this video is gonna, it's gonna be in two parts to this with our part one and i'm gonna show you what we need we need our size 10 pearls bead 8 or 10 raspberry bead and our size 6 pearls bead and size 12 raspberry bead over here we use the 12 on the side over here size 3 pearls bead size 4 pearls bead you can use one color of your choice if you wish to our scissors so let's go ahead and cut off our flip flop let's do like an inch inch space and cut it and we'll cut the other side to leave an inch Now that you have finished cutting it, we're going to join them together, but let's trim it a little bit. So let's cut another inch off. I'm just cutting like half inch or an inch off. Do the same thing over here. I think I cut like one, uh, one and a half inch over here or two inch. So this is what you have gonna join them together let's get our needle and thread ready which I'm, I've already thread my ready go in here into your flip-flop and come out don't pull all the thread off unless you make a knot if you make a knot, you can pull it. But if you don't make a knot, just leave some. Then go under to the opposite side. The other one here. Because you're going to make a knot. Please. I'm trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. And I want to thank you so much for helping me. All this while. And to my new subscribers, thank you so much for joining this family. Let's make a knot over here. Please help me by sharing the video so that you can reach thousand subscribers please I know I've not been uploading a lot you know the reason why I've not been uploading very soon you know make a note over here of later I've been very very tired I make like two notes right here but after I finish making a note don't cut your trade rate right away let's go through it again okay and make sure it's very tight but if you have a glue that is very strong you can use the glue at this time but i recommend it let's use the thread a while you know let's thread it a little bit more to make it more secure then you can use your glue pull it and go under to the opposite side go in here when you are doing this, you have to be careful with your needle. You don't want your you don't want to get yourself broke, please. And come out. Let your thread be tight. As you can see, it's not that um, okay for me. The way I want it to be tight, I haven't got it, so I'm going to go in again. For your work, pull it tight. I'm going to the other side again. For your work. So let's make the knot again. We're gonna make another knot. This time, when you finish making the knot, we will cut it. And let it be tight because you want to have a neat work. Mm -hmm. 
you can see now it's okay right so with this you can have any design of your choice you want to do the design you want to do you can go ahead if not my design but under design this is this is how you do it then let's go ahead and cut our thread and i have a glue so i'll use my glue over there because i want to have my flavor very secure you know i don't want it to come off one day so i'm using this concrete cement concrete glue which is very strong Just like that, just apply. You can use any glue. If you have like Gorilla glue, any or E6000, you can put it there and let it dry. So you have like this, leave it. Then you start with your flower or anything you want to put over there. You start with your nester. So this is what you have. Thank you so much for watching this video and subscribe to my channel.